One cylinder head. Kit. So it looks like it's just packed with polystyrene. So far everything's looking well packed. And the box is that real high density cardboard. Um, yeah, very strong. So, so that's all good. Obviously it's handled a big trip already. So in here we've got some face masks. Looks like two face masks. <laughs> some jelly beans with compliments from Kiwi Cylinder Heads, that's quite cute. Um, a bar of soap, work, work soap, work shock soap. No harsh chemicals, Kiwi Cylinder Heads with compliments, eh? Oh, that's cool. Look, a few little prezzies. Um, oh, look at that. Um, it's a Z paste. A ultimate cam assembly lubricant paste and a sticker no not a sticker this is what is this oh yep yeah, an informational sheet looks like it is the Yeah, okay, so that's good. Just some more information on what Kiwi Cylinder Heads are all about. So Kiwi Cylinder Head pri prides itself on supplying the best quality, fully assembled cylinder head kits in the market. With over 10 years of experience in developing quality, reliable and cost-effective kits to the trade. These kits allow for quick turnaround times for the installer with peace of mind knowing that they can, sorry, that they are professionally assembled by qualified engine rebuilders in Australia. This is why Kiwi Cylinder Heads offers the best warranty around 12 months unlimited Ks and includes parts and labor on all of our product range of quality automotive parts. So that's a bit of a backdrop to this company. So we'll just reposition the camera and then we'll start breaking down this kit. So I've laid everything out for you on the table here so you can just have a good look at the product before um, we get into it. So first of all I might just sit down and explain to you again what, what I'm trying to achieve here. I, everyone I talk to has the same comment to make about cylinder heads. You've got to get a good quality cylinder head. They go through hell, uh, especially on the TD42s. You know, you're running big boost. Uh, in my case, I'm not even running big boost. I'm just running what most guys would say is increased boost, um, aiming for between 16 and 18 PSI. Got an 11 mil uh, fuel pump, uh, compensated fuel pump on there too. So it's not, I'm not breaking any records, not like these comp trucks or guys that are doing big horsepower builds, but it is increased boost pressure at the end of the day. It's, it's more than the, what you would say, factory turbo settings. Can this imported Chinese cylinder head handle it? Um, Cylinder Heads Australia are saying that um, 
they've produced a good product, um, they've been selling cylinder heads for ages. Um, what's the story? Are, are these cylinder heads any good? Can they handle the higher ambient temperatures in Australia? Um, there's, there's so many questions on everyone's minds. So what I would like to do is just go through everything, show you what's in the, in the box, uh, so that even before you buy a kit, you already know what you're getting. Uh, then we'll whack it on the car and just, I'm not a mechanic or anything, but I'll show you how I install it. <laughs> it's just probably a bit of a laugh, but, um, you know, just so you can get an idea of how it goes on. Um, uh, I'll just follow the instructions that they send along with the cylinder head. I'm not, I'm not a profession or anything, so I'll just um, go a bit outside of my normal realms and actually read the instructions to something instead of just doing the typical thing and doing it without that. Um, and yep, we'll just see how it goes. We'll, we'll put it through its paces. We've got our trip to Cape York coming up. That's going to be fairly heavy duty towing. Um, obviously, getting from central Queensland even up to Cairns is going to be a big test. There's um, a few a few big hills. We'll get the EGTs right up uh, on some of those big hills. Um, and then just slow moving four wheel driving up around the Cape will be a big test because she, well, yeah, every Everyone that owns a GQ, GQ Patrol running the TD42, um, they know that it, it doesn't have an especially wonderful cooling system to start with. So it's going to be a good test. Uh, I couldn't think of a better scenario really. The car is a daily driver. It's also going on big trips like this. Uh, the whole thing's been put together by an amateur mechanic, well not even a mechanic, an amateur backyard guy. Uh, if anything could go wrong, this would be it. So just imagine if this cylinder head's getting installed by pros, um, uh, everything's checked by pros, you know, how much better it's going to be. So this is a great test for the product, isn't it? What we'll do now is just unbox everything here. We've got it out of its main box. It was surprisingly well packaged. The quality of the outer cardboard was very thick and dense. Uh, then a polystyrene between everything. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll just break all these boxes down, inspect each individual part, uh, show it all off for you, and then we'll go from there. So just the paperwork side of things, there's an instruction guide here and it looks like it's about eight pages of material. We'll read through that later. This booklet here doesn't have page numbers but She's fairly decent. Technical information booklet. Um, just flicking through it, looks like there's um, helpful tips, fitting tips, engine coolant 101, instability can create solids and fuel, um, the blue stuff, ins and outs of diesel exhaust fluid. The life and mysterious death of, of some bloke, I can't even say his name. By the way, um, I got real bad dyslexia so I can barely read. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to put up with that as we go through our videos. So there's that booklet. Cylinder head complete kit. This looks like a bit of a backstory to Kiwi cylinder heads which is also known as Cylinder Heads Australia and in New Zealand they're just called Cylinder Heads. Gasket 
product line, our new gasket product line, rocker cover sets, manifold sets, bottom seal sets. And they've got all the different makes and models of cars here. Here's our one, the TD42T. They have that there. EGR coolers. The hidden diesel engine killer. I don't think that um, relates to us. And what's this one? Did you know we also stock? And helpful fitting tips for Kiwi Cylinder Heads Limited product line. Awesome, so it's a bit of good info there in uh, all those information sheets. Put that to the side there. Some jelly beans with compliments. Some workshop soap. Some face masks. This one is Z Paste, the ultimate cam assembly lubricant. Which will be great actually, because I don't have any assembly lubricant. In fact, the one I have is just like a lanolin product and it does say on it that I can use it as an assembly loop, but that's great. I can use this one. So what we'll do is we'll just look at all the peripheral bits and bobs before we break open the cylinder head itself, just so I can get a clear bench for unboxing the cylinder head. So... This one is a Nissan TD42T Nissan Genuine Head Gasket and it is a notch 3 by the look of it so it's 1.25 millimeters thick. Let's unbox that. I'm just inspecting it for any damage. Now something I just learned recently about head gaskets is there's different thicknesses of head gaskets. So for example, if you get any machining done on your head or block, you're obviously going to have to change um, head gasket thicknesses. Now, I'm, I'm no professional here, but um, your pistons obviously will protrude above the block to different degrees. Um, and if you have any machining done, that, that could change variables surrounding that. So they have different head gasket thicknesses to make up for that. And what was suggested to me is, is just, if you're not going to go to the trouble of getting all the the piston protrusions measured and blah 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 just put the same one on that came off and at least then you, you know it's going to work and the way you tell which thickness you have is they describe it in terms of notch one notch two notch three and just looking at your the front of the car is over here um, the passenger side top of the gasket there'll be a number printed and if you can see that it's a three uh, this is a notch three gasket so I've probably got a few details wrong about about that but like you, like I've been trying to say to you I'm an amateur here but I'm just trying to explain to you um, what I do know as, as much as I can So that's the head gasket. We'll just move on to the head bolts now. So 
So they've come very well packaged. They're all separated with this cool little cardboard hoofer. Here's the bolt there. That's one box. Here's the other box. So that's the head box themselves. Um, so far, I, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the packaging there. Um, you know, some of the head bolts I saw just come in a snap lock kitchen type bag. <laughs> Yeah, you, you've got to give it to him. Um, that is really well presented product. I, I, I like that. We'll put those aside. I am guessing this would be the VR skip. Just had a guess. So this is the VRS kit, rocker cover, and then we've got source manifold. Just personally, I prefer these type of exhaust manifold gaskets over the ones that are just one complete big gasket. Uh, why is that? Well, I just found that the other one that's more like this because it's not flexible. Uh, they <laughs> Every time I've had one shipped to me, there's just something wrong with it. There's like a little king core. But these ones are, you know, they could take a beating. So I, I, these are a good exhaust manifold gasket. Okay, got out a little bit of bolts. Well, and take. Manifold gasket, everything looks fine on that as well. So, this kit has made it all the way without any damage, which is quite miraculous, really. At this point, let's unbox the head itself, um, and, and we'll just try and have a good look inside the porting and just the general overview of it, and see how it looks. Bubble wrapped. Rather than lift it out, we'll just cut down the sides of the cardboard itself. Bubble wrap all the way around. And how's the? Yes, it, it 
it looks really well sealed. And there's no openings or anything there. So we had cardboard, bubble wrap, and I don't know what you call that, like wax paper maybe? Is that what the, the term is? Um, yes, yeah like a wax paper. All right, let's just take a seat and have a pause, eh? First impressions. Everything looks very clean. There is zero debris, shavings, swarf, um, it looks very, very tidy and clean. What I'll do is I'll just grab my light and we'll just spotlight a few of the, do a close up for you, uh, a flyover. So you can see it all for yourself and uh, then we'll flip it up on end and have a look in the porting, uh, set it upside down so we can see what the mating face looks like. Yeah, let's have a look.